viewers it's just gone midday it's a lovely 21 degrees and i'm down in puerto again so let's go and have a look what's happening fountains going there in the lago martianes All the people are out uh, bathing here in the harbour and loads of people swimming actually in the sea. Let's walk into town. There we are, people swimming. few people out on the beach if you can call it a beach <laughs> all those rocks I don't think I could sit on those to be honest but a lot of locals like it dog there in the ocean let's go down Calle Mekines One of my favourite bits of artwork. The birds are singing. So we're now on Calle El Lomo. Look at the colour of this. A great piece of artwork on the side of that building. Another one of my favourites. Oh, 
I'll take you down Calle de la Verdad, Street of the Truth. This little passageway here. Lovely little passageway this. Some little uh, cafes and uh, there's a tapas bar here on the left. I've not tried it yet. Mika, Casa Mika. Yeah, I don't know what that's like. Especially, especialada dades en tapas, if I can say that quick. Head back towards the main square, Plaza del Charco. I've mentioned this before, can you see the bow on this uh, building? They've just renovated it. Here we go there, little coffee warehouse over there. Calle Puerto Viejo. Here we are, Plaza del Charco. Cafe Columbus. On the top of the square you've got Berry's ice cream. I've seen some massive queues there for that ice cream. There is another place here called Zaleve, a cafe Zaleve. Um, I think it's on uh, Calle de la Cruz. Yes, it is. Um, that's won awards for ice cream yet to try that one though they, they, that's a cafe that also makes its own chocolates this is Calle Blanco don't left on to Calle Iriati Calle San Juan. This cafe here is quite good on the corner as well. Pretty cheap prices. There you go, that's Cafe Zaleve in front. And there is the ice cream. Where they make the chocolates. There you go. Very nice. I'll turn down uh, Calle Augustin de Betancourt. You can hear the kids screaming. Just about to pass a school on the right hand side.
looks like they're back from the holidays. It's a great place here on the right for cocktails. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. You get huge cocktails too. There we go, the one with the parrot in the cage outside. So I've just come on to Calle Santo Domingo and heading up to Plaza de Europa where you can see the white building on the corner, that's the Ayuntamiento or the Town Hall. Big old building here, Casa Miranda. It's now a cafe, David Rodriguez. But it's uh, got some history, this building. Well, there's the Ayuntamiento. And views across the square. Back to uh, Casa Miranda. Yeah, this uh, building, as I say, uh, dates back to the 17th century and housed a lot of um, notable families in this uh, place before it's eventually become, I, I can remember it used to be a tapas bar, but it's now um, a, a, a cafe, uh, David Rodriguez. But uh, yeah, this is uh, a Venezuelan uh, called uh, Miranda um, owned this initially. Really is a nice building. Just come down some steps at the side of the Ayuntamiento, you're into uh, a, a good viewpoint. A lot of people come down here fishing. And you've got views across to Lago Martianes over there. And then up towards Paseo San Telmo, which is there. So I'm on the top of the castle walls here and you can see both fountains going now in the Lago Martianes. That's where I started this uh, video off, on the top of that wall there, just above the Puerta de la Cruz sign. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little walk today. I'm going to call it a day and uh, say thanks again for watching hit the subscribe button it's free there is no cost at all to you and hit the notification bell and the like button it helps the channel thank you very much